kind of zoomed up and, or however. Okay, everybody practice? We're ready? Good to go. Who's going to be the first victim? That the first one's always the toughest. But don't be nervous. Look at the other one. Huh? Over there. They can't eat you. Yeah, we can't eat you. I know it's against the law. Colonel Sanders, who's your partner? Who's my yeah, Come on up. Oh, uh, you're his partner too? Well, you know. Huh. Who'd you practice with? Okay. It was chrome domes sticking together. <laughs> chrome domes sticking together. Quick question. Yes. How far through this thing? All, uh, We're going to go just, just like just the one I did, you know, just about, you know, once you've done your. You know, Mr. Customer, I'm brand new. If there's any questions I can't answer, I'm going to find out the answer for you because I'm your salesperson. Okay? And then that's it. We'll stop there. Okay? Okay, here's your car. You're out here looking at this car right here. So he's the customer. Yeah, yeah. He looks like a sod buyer. So we'll just have, like, you're looking at it, you know, the, you ain't heard nobody's story until you heard your sod story. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Hi, lovely day, isn't it? Yeah, pretty nice. Are you here for the big sale? Sure. I'm always ready for a big sale. Oh, that's good. Uh, my name's Kenneth Palm. What's your name? Uh, Dave King. Can I call you Dave? Sure can. All right. Oh, you can then, right? All right. Well, I'm new here, but I will answer any question that you can ask. And if I can't, I'll figure out how. You'll find someone. someone. You'll, you'll, you'll find out the answers. I'll Not someone. Answers. You'll find out the answers for him. Yeah. Um, that's good. That's good. That's good. Not bad. Not bad for the first one. I mean, right. Well done. That's the first one. Either the spotlight was on you. Okay. But I want you to remember to stay back. Remember, you have a 13 second window approximately that that first impression is going to be made. Okay. I want you to open it up, expand on that window. Because when you're shaking hands, you have like a 13 second window that they're putting all the thoughts and the memories of you in this ingraining that in the subconscious part of the brain. So now you went right up and it's like, you know, you go up to the girl's bar. Okay, well, let's, let's uh, you, know, you know, like you assume, I mean, you can already go out to date where you already know her. Okay, you're going up just like a car salesman would. I want you to try to find some common ground. You did great. You planted the positive seeds and stuff. You did good. But you rushed right into the shake of the hand. Okay, I want you to stand back to try to get some common ground a little bit first. I mean, for time constraints, we're not going to sit there and talk for 10 minutes, okay? Because we're, we're already running late. All right. So, but I want you, you know, great weather, try to, you know, are you from, are you unusual accent, are you not from this area, whatever it may be, try to find out, you know. And, oh, my goodness, such a beautiful day. What kind of living do you do that gets you off on a nice day like this? I want that kind of job. You find out what they do for a living that way, right? Okay. A good job, though. Give me a hand again. Not bad for the first one. Okay, not bad. Yeah, 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 just reverse it. <clears throat> Hi there. Hi. How are you? Good. Yeah, how are you? Good to see you out here looking at the nice weather. Yeah. My name's Dave King. And you can call me Dave. Hi, Dave. I'm Kenneth. Kenneth. Nice to meet you. You too. Uh, just think of me as uh, your doper. You, that you need to do whatever you need to fulfill your dream here. So. Question is, you look like a high shooter. What do you, where do you make all your men? Work at Tyson's. Chicken? Kinda. Out in South Hodge. Well, I work in there pretty good. Everybody calls me Colonel. <laughs> okay, not bad. But here again, you rushed up to shake yeah, his hand. I, I, and you got your hands yeah. in your pocket. You're showing nervousness that way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just work on it. Work on it, okay? Yeah. And the, the first ones are the toughest, okay? Um, not bad, though. Give me a hand, guys. Okay. Dylan, you and your partner. Dylan and Mike. The Mikester, the Mike man. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Welcome to Midnight. Hold down. Hey, 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 get that hand back. You guys, come on now. You're going up to shake your hand too quickly. You're invading his zone too quickly. Yeah, you're just like, you're pouncing, really. You're just running right up on him. I mean, you know. So stay back. I don't know if you're going to mug me or what. Get, you know, get some, you know, get some positive seeds. Try to, you know, 
you know, bring up uh, football, something, find out what he does, then go, oh, where's my manners? I'm sorry, sir. Then go introduce yourself, okay? okay. So you got the day off. Try that. Yeah. Well, you know, what kind of, you know. Go ahead. Start over. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to Midwest Sport. Uh, my name is Dylan Carter. Mike Doris. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks. Um, I noticed that you're out here looking at this car. Yeah. Uh, I'm new here, so if you have any uh, questions that you need to ask about this car, I will go and ask somebody. <laughs> to, uh, give me the answers. Okay. All right. Not bad. Cause you're a little nervous. I knew that. You know, you're a little <laughs> more nervous. You're you're a little shy. You're shy. A little more shy. Okay. But uh, you know. Here's the way I want you to look at this. I want, if I'm out in your backyard and say speedo, a speedo, okay, don't picture that. It's not a pretty sight, okay. And I have no gun. You can see I'm not armed or anything. And I'm out there in your backyard peeking in windows or something. Are you gonna, have, are you gonna, are you gonna go out there and be shy about asking me what the hell I'm doing in your backyard? No. Okay. Well, this is your backyard. They're here to buy a car. Don't be shy. It's that person's in your backyard. No sense to be shy because shy, shyness sometimes, and that's gonna, it's part of it helps for you, for your personality, so it's not all the way a weakness, but it does show sometimes lack of confidence. Because when you sold that pin earlier, you seem very confident. But when you got up here, and I know part of it's nerves, okay, some of the things, and you still rushed right into him to shake his hand. And, um, and you, you said, and this is the hardest habit to break. How are you doing? It's the hardest habit to break. You didn't, did you yeah. know what you said? Yeah. I didn't mean to say that. I know, but you did. <laughs> I know I did. We caught it. All right. And that's going to be, but here's the deal. Now that you know consciously, and I haven't showed you the stats yet, but I will tomorrow, okay, that proved to you that it doesn't work, and hopefully you've already, you already, know, it doesn't take an Einstein to figure it out when I t told you how I did, but Matt Life did a study that proves that 99 out of 100 people aren't doing well, okay? And it was a 40-year study. It got released in 2010. But anyway, so uh, I know that's the hardest habit to break. But just feel comfortable. That's your backyard, okay? Act like it's someone that you're at a family reunion. I don't want you talking anything about a car at first, because I know you're saying that, too. Act like you're hanging the car off. Try to find out, I mean, what kind of job do you have that lets you off on a beautiful day like this? Sign me up. Can I get an application? You bet. You know? <laughs> I mean, my goodness. I, I, you know, I, I, why aren't you out fishing? Do you like fishing or anything? I do. Really? What kind of, will you do mostly uh, bass, you, top water, bottom, what? All of the above. All of the above. Uh, <laughs> end of below, right? End of below. Great, great. Where, um, so, I'm sorry, where are my manners? My name is Ronald Reagan Jr. Mike Doris. Mr. Doris, welcome to Midwest Superstore. Are you here for the big sale? I am. Great. Now, now would you um, prefer me to call you Mike or Mr. Doris? Mike is fine. Great. Mike is fine is what I call you? Mike is fine. Okay, Mike is fine. <laughs> um, you can call me Ron. Okay. okay. Anything but late for dinner because I love to eat. Okay. And, and I apologize. I'm brand new at this. Okay. So if there's any questions that I don't know the answers to, I'm going to find the answers out for you because I'm going to be your salesperson. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. All right. See how? And it's just. I mean, and, and, and the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. Because I think you would. I, I know you can be great at this because I've seen it in you. Okay. So don't be you know. Just remember, they're in your backyard. Okay, switch it around. around. Good afternoon. Hi. How are you today? Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you may see the major step is you consciously know it's wrong. So the more that you know that and you don't say it, and you've got to use it in everyday life, not just in this, then, because it doesn't work nowhere. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Good afternoon. Beautiful day we're having, isn't it? Yeah. You have the day off today? You must have a great job. Yeah. Oh, pardon my manners. I'm Mike Norris. Dylan Carter. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Midwest Motors. That's okay. Go on. Yeah. You here for the big sale? Uh, no. No? Now, don't reiterate their no. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't reiterate it. Okay. Just let it go. Okay. Tell them the rest now. You're brand new. I'm brand new here, so if you have any questions I can't answer, I'll go find out an answer for you. All right, thank you. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all, right? You're real good. Not bad. I mean, you, you know,
know, yeah, there for a moment you froze like a deer in the headlights, but you yeah. know, you overcome it. <laughs> Almost got right over, too. You had the good confidence. He looked pretty confident when he went up, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He didn't seem like he was going to go up the mug him or anything, right? Good. Good job. Who's next? I guess us two. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. Let's get us in. <laughs> Pressure's <laughs> in. Pressure's on. <laughs> After watching this, we better have learned something. <laughs> 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 but it will be on the internet tonight. I'll go ahead and uh, you guys give me email addresses, or I'll oh, give you the. That's just great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yesterday, if we'd have been here, we'd be all wet by now. But it's a nice, beautiful day, and I know why I'm here. I'm at work, but you're not. How did you get the day off? It's just my day off. It's just your day off. I never get a day off in the middle of the week. I always have to work here. I'm sorry. Randy Ashford is my name. You can call me Randy. I'm David. Responsible. You can call me David. Nice to know you. David, I see you're looking at this particular car. Um, I might be able to answer most of your questions, but if there's something that you think that I should ask that I haven't, please let me know so that I can go ahead and get the answer for you from somebody that does. Um, there's another part of this interview that's <laughs> a heck of a lot better than <laughs> Well done. Yeah, you did pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> because here's the deal. I don't want you. I want you. See, and I, want, I like how he brought some of his own personality. Because I don't want it to be a canned speech. I don't train to choose canned speeches. I want you to use your personality. But I want certain <laughs> things I want you to make sure you do. You welcome them. The only thing that is not a can't speak, but I want you to use some psychology, okay? I want you to feed off of that subconscious part of the brain because we're going to use the part that loves big sales. So I just want to make sure that you plant the seed. Are you here for the big sale, okay? But he did a very good job, so. Right. And if they say no, what? If they say no, then you just leave it alone. Okay, don't start saying things because, because even if they say no, they're not here for it. Their mind's still thinking they're having a big sale. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you you planted a subliminal. Well, but I think you should follow it up with something that answers it, like, well, we're having one, and I'll tell you where it'll affect you. As you, on well, here's the problem with that. Once there's something start, on. The only time you're supposed to, in psychology, the, the way a subliminal works is, is if it's only subconscious. So when you say it and they just say no, if you go on about it, then you've made it a conscious. You've made it conscious, so it's no longer in the subconscious. It's out there in the conscious. How do you get out of that? Because it was kind of uncomfortable when the other guy did it. If they say no, okay, you just say, okay, well, Mr. Customer, and that's when that's a good time to say, well, I'm brand new, so I know if there's any questions that I don't know the answers to, I'm going to find out the answers for you, okay? Um, yeah, that, that changes it well, yeah. yeah. That's right. why I use that part of it. But don't, and the only time you bring it up again is if they ask you, could you tell me about it? And then what you say is, and that's a good question, and what you say is, well, Miss Customer, I am brand new, but I know there's different rebates and different incentives, you know, based on which car, make, and model that you choose. Okay, so if there's any questions I can't answer, I'm going to find out the answers for you because I'm going to be your salesperson. Okay, because you want to keep it just locked in there and not, because, you know, I've had some people take it on their own, use their personality and go, oh, yeah, it's the biggest sale in you know, the history of the dealership, blah, 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 blah. Then you start selling like a salesperson. Now you've made it conscious. Now they're consciously aware of it. And that's why you don't say, have you heard about it? Because if you ask them that question, that's over on the conscious side of their brain now. They're thinking, okay, did I hear, I heard some radio ads. No, I didn't hear that one. Okay. So we want to try to make it to where you plant the seed as a subliminal, because you really can if you do it right. And if you do it, if, and now some of you, I know it's a lot to soak in at first and get in, because you're going to have to get in routine, you've got to practice it, because you're thinking, okay, I've got to make sure to welcome them. I've got to make sure to ask them if I, uh, first name or last name, i got a uh, big sale. And then sometimes some of you forget, and then you say it when you're back here. But try to remember, try to get it in right when you're shaking your hand. The prefer, do you prefer to be called David or whatever can come after you shook their hand, okay? That could come afterwards, so you don't have to put all of that in right when you're shaking your hand. Good job, though. Come on. All right, let's go, Mr. Sponsor. Good afternoon. Welcome to Midwest Ford. Well, thank you. Just looking around right now. You are looking pretty round. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what not to do? <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I, just, yeah, I like going with you on that. All right, go ahead, Dave. My name's David Sponsel. Hi, David. My name is Randy, Randy Ashford. You here for the big sale? Sure as heck am. Who wouldn't want to be a part of the big sale? <laughs> I'm new here, um, and uh, if there's any information I don't know, I will go get the information for you because I'm your salesman today. We won the World Series in 1938. <laughs> 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 you know, it's, it's a demand, demand. Not bad. You did rush a little bit because all you, you you kind of welcomed him without planting seeds. Like beautiful day, you want to plant positive. I don't care if it's a rainy day. You don't think about oh, there's rain. That's a negative, right? But what you do? Unless say, you're in the hay business. What you do say is, wow, this rain, I can use this. I'm kind of a gardener. I do a little gardening every now and again. Well, you can't tell by the plants, but, you know, I try to garden. You know, try to make a positive out of it, okay? Good job. Let's get out of here. Y'all go do do your homework tonight. Practice your role playing. Um, uh, watch the YouTube video, Body Language During Negotiating, okay? But practice, practice, practice on this uh, role playing, Okay? Get in the mirror, get, get your loved ones, your friends, whatever, and practice on it until you, you feel so comfortable at it. Practice a lot tonight, okay? Because you can do this. After you've done it ten times, it becomes second nature. Now, I will tell you, because this happens, and this happens, because if, if you decide and you don't think this is for you, if you would please, everyone has my cell phone number, right? Please give me the courtesy and, and another person in the room or someone that I didn't invite to class. Um, you know, a, a chance to let me know if you're not, if you, if you don't think it's going to be you and you don't want to do it. I understand if you, you know, it's not for everybody, but I can tell you, me, Tom, our company has seen something in every one of you that we think that you would be great. Okay? There, I've talked to the managers downstairs, the manager that you interviewed with. Love every one of you so far, so they're on the same page as we are. Okay? So, would you please just make sure if you've got, if you're not going to show up or something, at least call me. Okay, because uh, either way, I, I, I mean, I, it does. I don't put an hourglass on friendship or whatever. I consider every one of you one of my friends. Okay, so um, if there's anything I can do to help you, if there's some certain time you got to miss something, I'm, I'll work with you. I don't want to miss a chance. Uh, this dealership getting uh, losing a chance of getting a good person for them. Okay.